statement on the win this afternoon? Well, I'm, I'm uh, happy for the guys. And actually, we're proud. I thought that uh, the thing got tight late. We executed really well down the stretch and made big plays on the offensive end. But uh, defensively, we were you know, pretty solid uh, late, which uh, allowed us to win the game. And Kyle had the assignment to guard ground ridge, and that's, uh, that's pretty tough. But I think our whole team did a good job of crowning him. And he got his 30 points, took 28 shots. So that was a, um, a pretty good effort from, from our guys. He's, so uh, we're happy to uh, be able to move on and look forward to another night. Thanks, Coach. We'll take questions from media members. If you have a question, please raise your hand and wait for us to get a microphone to you. And tell us your name and affiliation, please, before you ask your question. We'd like to start with questions for student athletes first, please. Well, thanks. Uh, from Desert News. Can both of you talk about uh, the, two, the, big, the two freshmen and the big baskets they made throughout the game? Yeah, um, they've been doing that all year. You know, uh, Nick and Zach have been great for us. They've been big plays down the stretch and defensively and offensively. It was Zach has some big free throws down the stretch as well. But they've done that all year. This isn't any surprise to, to me or the coach or Kyle. This we've seen this all year, and, and that's why coach has them in at the end of the game because he trusts them. He trusts them defense. He trusts them to get those shots. So they've been they've been amazing. I mean, freshman year is extremely hard. You know, sometimes people get, get after freshmen for up and down little lows they may have, but those two have been nothing but terrific for us all year. Super proud of them. Yeah, I guess I just echo what Kyle said. They both have so much confidence. They play uh, so fast and so hard. So like what Kyle said, it's not a surprise to us. They make big shots. They've done it before they got here, and they'll continue to do it. Go to Steve here in the second round. For uh, Kyle Collinsworth, um, what's it like to hold a guy to 30 and feel good about it? And you did a good job. <laughs> uh, and what was, what was the challenge in trying to just kind of maintain contact with this kid? Yeah, well, he's just, we try to make him a volume shooter. I mean, he's going to score, and I want to say I'm thrilled about the effort. I wish. I started off the game well, I ended the game well, I had some little lows. But he's a terrific player and all we wanted to do was make him a volume shooter and make him uh, hit tough shots. And, and that's what we did and all that matters is that we came out with a, with a win. If we would have scored 60 and we won, I'd be happy. That's all that matters at this point is just to win. So, and that's what we did. Other questions for you? We've got a Jay here in the front. Uh, Jay Drew, something trivia. Uh, Kyle Collinsworth, you guys got out to the big lead, the offense was just clicking, and then you kind of hit a lull. What what happened there? Just lack of focus? You know, I wish I knew we <laughs> could have fixed it. I would have known what was going on. But we got a little low, but credit to our coaches. We coach called a huge timeout for us, and we were able to hit a couple big shots. That was a big, big call by coach, and we got to lead back up to uh, double digits at halftime. You know, you don't want those lows. We wish we could have built on that lead, but it showed toughness on our part that we could bounce back and that we were able to win this game. So in a sense, it's it's a good thing that we had to do that. And it was positive to see that we were capable of doing that in such a big stage. Any questions for student athletes and or Coach Rose? Let's go to the back, please. All the way back. David Murray with KSL. Going back to uh, Nick, when, when Nick went down earlier this week, what were you thinking and then what did you think about uh, his performance today? Is that for Coach Rose? Uh, for Kyle's. For Nick? Yeah, when Nick went down, what were you thinking? I mean, was it, were you thinking that he, he could be missing this game or I mean, it looked like? Yeah, well, I felt bad because it was my knee that hit him, so <laughs> I was really worried about it. But uh, no, Nick was tough. It was, a, it was a tough bruise that he got. I don't think it was something we were too concerned about. And Nick's just, uh, he's a competitor. You can see it when he plays every minute he's out there, he, he gives it his all. So I know for us, we, we knew we would see the Nick that we've had all season, a, a competitive, uh, high energy, uh, confident player. And that's what we had today, which was great. And we needed it.
kind of seems like you and um, and Chase have, have a lot of chemistry. You know each other, where each other is at all times. You're aware of him. He had a, a little spurt there where he scored five straight points. Can you talk about that that time of the game and what it meant for him to make those shots? Uh, it just showed uh, his mental toughness. You know, Chase and I, I didn't, I didn't play well in the first half. I had times where sluggish with the ball, and Chase. Felt like he didn't play well, but Chase came down the stretch and made, made a big place for us. And that was to show the senior leadership. When we needed him down the stretch, he showed up. And credit him to stay in the game mentally. I think that just shows uh, his mental side of things that although things weren't going maybe the way he wanted to or, or whatever you want to say, uh, he came up big when we needed him. Dave, that, that same stretch there, you basically had to go half court offense and, and try to slow down just a little bit. Did, did you get what you wanted out of those things, and how, how did those guys accomplish what you needed there? Well, I, I thought that uh, you know, Coach Keating and his, his staff did a tremendous job of making adjustments from how we played in the season, you know, in the two regular season games. And, and that's what was made it you know, difficult for us when we went to you know, four or five guard line. We were playing really small. And, Every penetration we made, we, we could spin back, there was a guy there, and, uh, and they were really coming off uh, big guys. And so we, we played four guards most of the game to try to match it. But um, I think that, uh, you know, the execution for us in that game was two, four, three points. Uh, and, and then we were able to get stop, score, stop, score, make some free throws. But we had, we had a tough spot, and we missed four or five free throws in a row. Maybe two more if they're out there. All right, BYU, congratulations. We'll see you in one day.